Synchronous learning had a bit of a bumpy first day, so I wanted to make a video to explain exactly what I'm looking for on the poetry booklet. Okay. First of all, we're going to spend the rest of this week working on this booklet, and quite possibly even the next couple of days next week. First things first, what you're going to do is you're going to take the poems that you should have already written last week. You should have already written a limerick, diamante, quintain, cinquain, and haiku. Those are going to be the basis for what you're going to put into this booklet. You must include one of each of those styles of poetry into your poetry booklet. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to start with the haiku. You can choose your nature haiku, or you can choose any other haiku that you wrote, and you're just going to simply put that on the first page. Next, you are going to choose one of the poems that you wrote, and you are going to adapt it to include alliteration. As you know, alliteration is when you have multiple words in a sentence or two that begin with the same sound. So if I said something like, Carl can't catch, the k sound starts in three words, that's an example of alliteration. Or I could say, Larry the lobster laughed loudly. Again, the same initial sound, that's alliteration. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a poem that you have already written and you are going to adjust it to make sure that it includes an example of alliteration. Next, you're going to move on. We have simile. As you know, a simile is a comparison using like or as. So what you're going to do is the same thing. You're going to choose one of the poems that you have already written and you are going to add an example of a simile. So I could say, John ran like a cheetah. Or I could say, Sarah was as fast as a jet plane. Both of those are comparisons using like or as. So what I would do is I would take one of my existing poems or I would rewrite one of the poems from the styles we talked about last week and I would make sure that I include an example of a simile. And then you just write it on the page. Moving along, there's two more poems that we're going to include. We have a poem that includes a metaphor and a poem that includes personification. Well, you should know that a metaphor is very similar to a simile, except that it does not use like or as. I could say, Johnny was a rocket soaring across the playground. Okay. And lastly, we have personification. That's when you take human qualities and you give them to something that's not a human. I could say, the chair groaned in agony when Mr. Parzik sat down in it. The chair is not really groaning, it's just a squeak. But you give human qualities to um, a non-human entity. And then on this paper, I gave you two extra blanks. That's in case you need to make any mistakes or need to adjust anything. So what you're going to do is you're going to have a six-page poetry book. As long as your cover is on the front, the order of the poems doesn't matter. But you can see that your cover is going to be a page. You will have a page with a haiku, alliteration, simile, metaphor, and personification, okay? You're going to give me a six-page poetry book. You decide which poem best fits which skill and how you choose to use it, okay? Just to show you a couple of examples, these are not in any particular order and they were not chosen for any particular reason. This one is my example first. I'll start there. you can see that I started with a haiku. Now what I want you to do, any poem that is based on syllables, I want you to put dots above the words to demonstrate how many syllables are in the word. So haiku, two syllables, haiku. So I put two dots. R, R, one syllable. Easy, refrigerator, 
One, two, three, four, five. So I put five dots above the word. Any poem that is based on syllables, I would like you to put the dots. That's going to help me grade these. I will be able to give you credit. So I know what you're going for. You know a haiku is five, seven, five. If you put refrigerator and you put it as six, then I will know what your mistake is. And it'll be easier for me to give you credit. Okay. So I move along. And you can see that I have an example here of my metaphor. Okay. And you can see this is also a um, syllable based poem. Okay. This one is, in, in fact, a haiku. Moving right along, I wrote a limerick that includes personification. It's a little bit silly. The biggest thing with personification is you follow the rhyme scheme. A, A, B, B, A, which means A, A, the first two lines rhyme together. B, B, three and four line rhyme together. And A at the end goes back and rhymes with the first two lines. That's an example of personification. Okay? And then what you'll do is you'll come up here and you'll give me two more pages. Okay? I'll show you just a couple more examples of student work. I'm not going to put the names on. I'm just going to show you what they look like. You can see here's a haiku. Here's a student that put dots to show. Another haiku that shows an example of alliteration. And you can see what I'm looking for. So in addition to writing your poems, I want you to see if you can make the book look a little bit nice for me. Okay. Here's another example. This student's this student actually graduated a couple of years ago, but here's an old example that I have. Okay, and you can see some examples. Again, a haiku, so it has the dots showing you the syllables. Okay. And I'll show you one more here just because. Again, you don't have to necessarily color the whole page, but just, you know, give me something somewhat related. Remember, dots show the syllables in the words. Again, if you have any trouble or any confusion, you're not sure, please just let me know.